Welcome to Valencia Park in Santa Teresa, New Mexico. We are gonna show you an epic home built by Rise. This is their floor plan called the Sierra C. One thing to keep in mind about Santa Teresa is that it's located right next to El Paso. It's basically in West El Paso, more or less is what it's gonna feel like. The big difference though, being in New Mexico, is that property taxes are about 1.3% versus the 3% in El Paso. So if you're concerned about property taxes, Santa Teresa might be an option you would like to consider. And with that, let's take a look at this epic home here. This home is currently listed for $354,950,000, so just under $355,000. Reach out to us if you're interested because the builder is offering a pretty generous interest rate buy down if you use their lender. You can see here from the home, very sharp from the front, has a full pitched roof. There is no flat roof here for those of you that are worried about that. And as you enter into the home, I think you're really going to enjoy the detail and the cleanliness and the sharpness of this home. So let's go ahead and take a look here. As you enter the home, you have a general hallway. If you go straight, you're gonna get into that main living space. Off to the left is a bathroom, a bedroom, and the garage. And off to the right here, we have two bedrooms, the laundry room, and a shared full bathroom. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first bedroom. All of the homes, or excuse me, all of the windows have two inch faux wood blinds, which you can see right there. This bedroom is on the front of the home, so it's gonna get a lot of nice natural light. Decent size room. These bedrooms aren't going to be huge, but when we were in there, we didn't feel like they were small. They felt just great to us. This is the first full bath. There are granite countertops throughout this home. Single vanity, as you can see here, tiled uh, shower, has a detail and the design in here that's pretty sharp. Of course, all of these fixtures, faucets, doorknobs, uh, everything is going to, to, to perfectly match, which is of course what you want. Everything to look succinct. In the laundry room here, again, you can see that granite countertop there on that utility folding table the hanging rod for your clothes, and then even additional storage up here. And actually, when I'm looking at these cabinets, it reminds me there is these, all of the cabinets in here is custom cabinetry with real wood. So none of that junky, fake uh, wood, uh, plasticky stuff. So higher end cabinetry throughout. This is the second bedroom. They've got this one set up kind of as a guest bedroom. You can see even with that bed in there and the side table, it feels like there's plenty of space. With that slanted roof, you get a little bit more height in certain parts of the home, which makes it feel nice and spacious. And before we go off and check out the main living space, let's check out the left wing of the home. We've got a third bedroom here. This bedroom is on the side of the home, has a window there for the light. This one's set up kind of more as a kid's room. Feels nice and spacious. Of course, yes, there is carpet throughout in the bedrooms and then ceramic tile in the rest of the home. Closets are your, your typical El Paso size closet. You're gonna get a larger closet, of course, in the owner's bedroom. We've got an HVAC closet there, and here we're gonna go into the garage. This is a finished garage. You can see that it has extra shelving up top. Remember, no basements, so you're gonna want all of that storage you can get. The garage door opener, can you can get the app for that. And you can see in the corner there, it is a tankless hot water heater. So we don't have the big old round water heater. This is on demand tankless hot water. And to the left there, it's actually pre-plumbed for a water softener. We do have hard water in El Paso, so you can basically just get a hard water softener and have it installed. It's already plumbed. They're not gonna have to run any of the water lines, which is pretty fantastic. Finally, let's, uh, as far as this wing goes, we're going to check out the bathroom here. This is just a half bath, but you can see that it does have the granite, granite countertops throughout. Nice, simple, modern, clean. And <clears throat> this is what everybody wants to see. 
the main part of the living home here. It's got the tray ceilings. You're going to enter into this modern open concept. We've got a nice big spacious living room with that big window to the back and of course the kitchen and the dining room. So in the kitchen, you are gonna, going to get an appliance package with all Whirlpool appliances. We've already mentioned custom cabinetry, real wood. Of course, there's undermount lighting in the kitchen. There's that granite countertop, stainless steel sink. Everybody, of course, needs an island. That's where a lot of people, as we all know, end up congregating. We've got, we already mentioned the undermount lighting. Additionally, this home actually has centralized a centralized smart box system, which is basically has a pre-wired for surround sound in the living room, the master, and the backyard. It's also pre-wired for your cable, your internet, and security system. So you're not going to have to, you know, try messing around with uh, a bunch of wires and getting everything um, looking like a big mess. And nobody, nobody wants all that. Every, everybody wants modern, slick. We don't want to see cables and wires hanging out. And so this home has already been pre-wired for all of that. There is the kitchen pantry there, right next to the owner's bedroom, which is gonna be right here to the left. This is on the back corner of the home, it has the tray ceilings you can see, and a nice big bed in there. Furniture, doesn't feel cramped at all. Plenty of light in there, so I think that's going to be uh, a pretty advantageous and quiet space for everybody. And then we transition back to the tile floors as we go into the owner's bathroom. There's that granite countertop. We've got the double vanity sinks, a privacy toilet, a nice big mirror. We've got one owner's closet here, but it does have plenty of shelving and hanging space. Carpet in there, of course. And then finally, this is a three quarters bathroom. And so instead of having a tub, this has a really big, nice walk-in shower. We've noticed that uh, a lot of buyers really don't want that tub. You know, they want a tub in the house, which you have for, for kids, things like that. But in the master's bathroom, having just a big shower is kind of nice. This one's great with the two different contrasting t tiles there. So, pretty good owner's suite here. Pretty much exactly what, what you would expect. Plenty of space. Again, that kind of modern, clean, aesthetic, neutral colors, bright, cheery. And then lastly, we are gonna go out check out the the backyard here so on this home the front and the side is going to be landscaped rocks plants everything like that the backyard is not going to be landscaped that's very very common in El Paso most builders do not landscape backyards they leave that up for the owner most people are going to zero scape that with rock or turf something like that you can see this engineered wood on the exterior that termite and mold resistant uh, engineered wood which is pretty awesome it has a backyard gas stub for your grill and a pretty good size backyard here the rock wall of course is in place ready to go you can in, uh, make that higher if you want it for privacy this is a great home by rise again this location in Santa Teresa is is Pretty interesting because you kind of get the feel of El Paso with, uh, without those higher property taxes. So if you're interested in this home or any others, please reach out to us at Pena El Paso Realty Group.